Hi, this is Richard C. I'm a math tutor here at Wiseant answering a trigonometry question submitted by a student. Okay, so the student is obviously learning about arc sine, arc cosine, arc tangent, which is also called the uh, inverse sine or inverse cosine or inverse tangent. But in words, the arc sine is the angle whose sine is what's inside the argument. We'll go over this a little bit more as we work through the problem. But the way you evaluate something like this is, is from the outside in. So let me just copy this arc, uh, arc sine. So we're going to concern ourselves with what's in the bracket here, which is the sine of negative 1. So let's think about our coordinate axis here. Here's 0. Here's pi over 2. And if we go in the negative direction, this would be negative pi over 2. And just for your information, let's just make sure what pi over 2 is in decimal form. It's 1.5, roughly 1.57. So this would be negative 1.57 radians. And so the sine of negative 1 radians is going to, that angle is going to be down here in the fourth quadrant. And this is going to be negative 1 radians here as the size of the angle. And we're rotating it in the negative direction, negative 1 radians. Now, if I go on my calculator, the sine of negative 1, just so I'm just going to carry the arc sine here. So the sine of negative 1 is negative 0.8. Four one five, approximately. So let's go back to the way to evaluate this in English. So this is just the sine of negative 1 radians, which we found on the calculator is here. Now the arc sine of this quantity is the angle whose sine is negative 0.8415. The only tricky part here is the inverse sine or arc sine has a domain from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. So if we think of the arc sine, of x, that domain here, the domain for this is negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. Because our angle of interest is in the domain, we can just say that the arc sine, the angle whose sine is negative 0.8415, is just negative 1 radians. And that's all there is to it. So it's, it's basically an inverse of a function here. And so they kind of cancel each other out, and you're left with negative 1. This doesn't always work. If I wanted the angle whose sine, because the angle whose sine is negative uh, 0.8415 could also be in the third quadrant. And if it's in the third quadrant, that is outside the domain of the inverse sine. And so you have to be careful about how that's going to work. Um, but in this case, we're in the domain and so we don't have to worry so that's the answer so it's a very simple answer in this case i'm sure you're going to be moving along uh, in your class where you're going to be taking arguments that for the inverse sine or arc sine you'll be taking arguments outside this domain and you'll you'll uh, your teacher will show you how to deal with those 
So that's it for this question. I hope uh, this was helpful to you, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.